Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Anime on Draft, episode number 24. Today we are missing our Drusif. He is out on a cruise being, uh, you know, a drunk. And um, <laughs> we've got our special guest, Mark, back. Mark, say hello. Hello. What's up? Thanks for having me again. And as always, we have Alec. Hello. What's up? Thanks for having me again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, oh, oh, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back <laughs> for and, this week of anime. <laughs> um, <laughs> interesting introduction. So, uh, why don't we uh, go ahead and start off with our beer this week? So, Mark, as our special guest, you chose it. What uh, What do we have? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you, thanks for letting me choose the beer for this week. I had no idea. There's was a lot of pressure. I, re- I really felt the pressure. Um, so what <laughs> I chose, I wanted to go with something that's uh, local, I guess, to me in L.A. So I went with the uh, Golden Road Brewing, the Get Up Off of That Brown. Uh, I had this, I think, for the first time in San Diego, actually. Just kind of funny. Uh, I think we were that's at a bar. That's pretty ironical. With, I think I was at a yeah, bar with Rolanda. Right. It's ironical. Yeah, it's pretty ironical. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh but uh, yeah when i when i had it for the first time i kind of fell in love I, I thought it was great and then i had like three more and then i drank a bunch of other stuff that night and what else did you do but that night? i did have it recently <laughs> when i what else and did then I do he took night? a cab home let's not get into that <laughs> what, what a responsible man <laughs> and then i did not drive home i did not drive home <laughs> Um, but I did have it at the golden road brewing. Um, so I went there actually, that was the first time I've been there like two weeks ago. Um, (coughs) it's, it's here in LA. It's, uh, it's near downtown, kind of close to the arts district, I believe. So where all the other breweries are, uh, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all the other breweries. I mean, like there's like some other ones. There's one in like long beach and then uh, I think there's like, two down the street from my house but i figured you guys probably wouldn't have some of those beers down in san diego so i didn't want to go with that one or like yeah what is it fog city and um the hermosillo brewery that are here and uh island park brewery but yeah so anyways yeah yeah, i don't think we have those the golden road all right yeah that's what i figured well uh why don't we uh, i also want to say it was a pain in the ass to get this just because you would not respond (laughs) When we were trying to figure out which one you were, because you were like, oh, maybe this one or this one or maybe that one. I like, decide. oh, so which one are you going to pick? I couldn't decide. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This one. No, this one. This one. <laughs> God damn it. Well, okay. I I know. I know. Yeah, I was then Alec sure. had to drive to the one that had it. Oh, no. Alec had to had to work to get some beer. <laughs> <laughs> I had to drive to the well, Bebmo far from me. I, I know Rolando had had this one before but i didn't know what alec had either so but i i wanted to get something kind of new but that didn't happen because they didn't have the other one well, i, it's, I it's recommended new to the show so <laughs> it's new to the show that's all that counts that's all that matters yeah yeah exactly <laughs> all right well why don't we uh yeah why don't listeners. we drink my the head on mine uh, and then my coaster okay. was attached to the bottom it uh, smells like soy sauce you smell like soy sauce. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. I don't know about soy sauce, but... <laughs> I don't know why, but it smells like soy sauce. Just because it's so dark <laughs> and rich. I don't think that's the reason, but... <laughs> the, head, the head on mine dissipated a bit, but it's still kind of staying. Yeah, it did. When I poured it out, it was pretty thick. It's really smooth. Yeah. It disappeared right away for me. I have to say, it's just... Uh, just how I remember, like the first time I had it, I remember thinking, like, "Wow, this is a really smooth beer," and it's it's still it's mm-hmm. still the same. It's really smooth. It's kind of toasty. Got those nutty yeah. notes. It is really smooth. Yeah, and it is toasty, not roasty. What do they say on the can? <laughs> toasty. It's toasty. Not There's roasty. a difference between toasty and roasty, dude. Get There's, on our level, all right. You should send that to them, man. Toasty, mm. not roasty. Tell them that that should be their slogan for this. Five point five percent. It doesn't say have any description on the on the can. Nope. I wonder if maybe, maybe it's on the no, box. No, doesn't. Not even on the. Not even on the box. I don't know if there's much on the box either. Golden Road doesn't really. 
put any of that stuff on there. They don't describe things? No. Describe taste. No. I mean, they're. it's kind of weird. I feel like they're becoming like the the main brewery of L.A. at this point. Yeah, you Are see they? them everywhere. Kind of like Ballast Point and Stone is for San Diego. Like they're like that like flagship like L.A. brewery, I think. Belching Beaver. Let's go. Belching I see Belching Beaver yeah. everywhere now, though. <laughs> Yeah, I like Belching Beaver better yeah. than both of the others. Well, Although Ballast on Point, yeah, I would I think prefer over Stone. It depends on what yeah. kind of beer. I guess, yeah. I just mean for like, in terms of, what if I'm going to pick it? one that I had to drink, I would go with Ballast Point, just because they have more variety. That's but true. anyways, that's not even the beer we're talking no, about. So. <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> uh, but, so, like, we had our first impressions... Um, we were all pretty unanimous, so I guess we could just get on with it. So, get Mark, on with getting on. Uh, what what do you think about this beer? What kind of rating would you give it? Uh, I I really really like this beer. Like you said, it's it's super smooth. <laughs> I just said super. I'm taking over for Drew this week. Um, it's really smooth. I, I'm a big fan of brown ales, so this is definitely one for me. Um, I would probably give this like a solid 4.25. Wow. Generous. I think this is a, a really good wow. beer. I think it's good, man. I, I, I don't know. I, I like that it's, it's dark. It's very kind of hearty. There's a lot of taste to it. It's a little bit sweet. So it's not like it doesn't have that kind of bitter aftertaste at all. I mean, it's, I like the kind of like honey flavor you get from it and like all the kind of like nut, like kind of roasted nuts that you get. So yeah. 4.25 for me. I think this is a good beer. All right. Alec, what do you think? You, or you I seem also to be enjoying it. I, <laughs> yes, I, <laughs> I do. <laughs> um, I also believe that this is a thoroughly delicious, excellente beer. Um, like I said, it's toasty, not roasty. And I do like the toasty flavors. Roasty is good <laughs> when you have really robust flavors. This one, the flavors are like yeah. lighter, but there's a lot of them because you get it's nutty. You definitely taste like the grains. Um, you can kind of taste malt. It's uh, and then it's got that toast, and then you like you said the honey kind of taste in there. And there's so there's a lot to it, and it's really tasty. But it all <laughs> it's really tasty, um, and it all like really <laughs> mixes. With, in case people don't know, uh, Mark here likes to go by Tasty on the internet for some reason. Um, so yeah, it's it. This is a, a very tasty beer, <laughs> um, but I think <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now now I, I just lost my train of thought completely. Um, uh, comes in a cool can. It's got like a nice Southern California sunrise, and uh, the color's nice. It smells like soy sauce. Um, which who doesn't like the smell of soy <laughs> sauce? <laughs> um, and then I could, okay, <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shut up. I would I would probably say. Like 4.25 is pretty accurate. I'm going to agree with Mark here on this one. Wow. Yeah. Solid. Well, that's pretty yeah. unanimous, huh? Yeah. Bam. 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 All right. Well. Let's do it. Uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I, I kind of agree with you guys. This, this is a good beer. The first time I had this was um, over at public school, um, one of the bars. That's where I had it. Oh yeah, were you, were you there when I? Oh, that might have been when I first had it too. I think because it was this was a while back, right? Yeah, a couple of years was, ago. This was a while. Yeah, because I was like, I'm pretty sure I've had this before, and I was like, I think I had it at public school, and I think it was the same time you'd never tried it. And we we're like, let's just yeah. try something new or something like that. Because like I ordered but. this, and then you ordered the Cali Creamin from uh, yeah. Uh, what's the brewery? Um, uh. Uh, that it, it, there, one. there's a, another like <clears throat> brewery. They have the California cream in, and you didn't like that, but, uh, you definitely, no. like, I liked the mother or something. Oh, I can't think of something. Name. Yeah. I think it's like mother's something, but, um, I, I had this and then you're like, uh, I don't really like the cre Cali cream in. So you ordered this. Yeah, I was not a big fan after and, uh, you liked it. So yeah. Um, I actually, agree with you guys i do wish though um that there was a bit more hops but it's not to the point where it's detracting 
So like normally with brown ales, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, you t they tend to be hoppier, but this one's not as hoppy as other brown ales. Um, mm -hmm. And which is I, good for me. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I still think that this is a really good beer regardless, <laughs> and it kind of crafts its own flavor on its own because you don't really think like, oh man, this is a this is a brown ale, you know? It's kind of different, and I think that's good because like a brown red. Yeah, so type thing. It's a brown red. <laughs> um, I have to agree with you guys. Four point two five. That's dang. A unanimous. I think that's the first yeah. unanimous vote we've unanimous ever had. Vote. It's gonna be really easy for Alec to make <laughs> the slide for this because he's a uh, he's gonna be like, oh, what was everyone? What did everyone rate it? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. When I'm trying to make the, the same thing slides, <laughs> <laughs> all I have to do is remember what I gave it, <laughs> and then I'll know. All right. And then I'll know. Well. Uh, moving on from the beer, good choice, Mark. Um, yes, took forever, welcome. but good choice. Why don't we uh, go ahead and start off with our pairing? So this week we are pairing with gamers and soccer quest. So why don't we go ahead and get into gamers? So this week we get kind of the aftermath of what happened when Urihara just blurts out that he chooses Chiaki without understanding what the fuck he's talking about there's no context uh, <laughs> i choose you pikachu no context <laughs> and uh then we get like more kind of misunderstandings between like karen and uh and uh, amano so <clears throat> there's just like shit going on all over the place so uh alec why don't we start with you uh what do you think about this whole situation that's kind of you know sprouted out between everybody um uh, I mean, so it's nice that like we've had some change, so it's not the same issue, but it's like the same issue essentially. Right. Um, and it's just like, it, it was nice that we got some change. I still like this episode, but I'm hoping that they don't go down the same path that they went down in the whole beginning of the like season. Cause then it'll just feel too similar, you know, where it's like uh misunderstandings or whatever. And then, and then I, what I want to see is cause Chiaki was like, I'm already past thinking that you liked me or something like that. And nobody said anything about that. <laughs> like nobody even mentioned that, even though she just blurted out that she thought that he confessed to her or whatever. And I was like, is there going to be a pause for this? But, um, I mean, I think it's, it's like at the end, I, my favorite part was at the end when Amano and Augury are like. Arguing. fight bickering with each yeah. other and they're all just like Hurr. like so confused by their relationship <laughs> well, like what is going on <laughs> you you got like in the middle of like the <clears throat> argument that starts to happen between there you see like karen with her dead eyes like she's like what what is this <laughs> she's like yeah. i thought you guys were just can like they were all like comforting her and saying like oh you know sometimes he just chooses games over his friends or his girlfriend yeah. and then, <laughs> and then he she rushes over him. for for augury and then she's like what you rush over <laughs> for this girl that's not even your girlfriend <laughs> instead of the i game? think they're just misunderstanding him yeah you know she's and they're all like oh well that's just how he is and it's like, well, he'd probably rush over for any one of them too, but they yeah, just but no one, crazy. no one, no one came with an emergency. Yeah, <laughs> none of them have emergencies right. like Augury, who's like, uh, a rock hit me like in the toe. Meltdown. Come help me! <laughs> <laughs> like helpless little idiot. Total meltdown. Yeah, exactly. Just over everything. Well, uh, the, I mean, yeah, like you kind of summed it up. Like this whole episode was kind of about like the misunderstandings. So, um, Mark, what do you think um, about the whole like misunderstanding, like kind of things? Because like we've talked about it in previous episodes, how it's starting to get annoying. Like, what do you think about this whole like everyone's yeah. misunderstanding one another because they're not really saying what they need to they're like leaving out information so i said it before but i'm definitely filling in for drew again but i think it's getting annoying <laughs> <laughs> just like i can't stand like all the like high school misunderstandings like i wanted to just get settled i want something to happen mm -hmm. like i want more to happen i guess like i thought this episode was going to go a little bit differently I was hoping that either Karen or Aguri would help Amano get this game or like 
essentially Karen. I was hoping that she would do something more. Yeah, that's. Like, I, I thought actually there was going to be a little bit more ca- like character that. development. I thought she was going to do that too, but she's. This is this seemed like it would have been the for like opportune episode to do something with that with Karen's um, character. Like there was a lot of opportunity for her to do something for Romano or do something for the other friends, but that nope. wasn't there. And then there's just more misunderstandings with Amano like running to Aguri's side, which is nice, like, and it's like heartwarming, but then it doesn't do much for, yeah. you know, like Chiaki. It just and makes all Uhara. of them. For Chiaki, and they're all just sitting jealous there. as in <laughs> Chiaki. Chiaki. Yeah. They're all just sitting for there, Chiaki. like, dumbfounded, yeah. like, what? And then they just put it across Chiaki. the screen. <laughs> just oh, yeah, it's just like a Nico Nico video. Over, it's just like <laughs> mass. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I agree. It's I just thought, flying across or the screen. I hoped more would happen. Um, it, I was. I was just hoping we'd get more from Karen and then just, I don't know, a change of pace as well. The comedy was still good, so I still like the show just because they have good comedic timing on everything they do, even when their joke is getting stale. So that's nice. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's like I said when we first started watching it, it's different than um, Renai Bokun, which had a lot of the same jokes mm-hmm. and they all got stale, but their comedic comedic timing wasn't very good so they just got stale and then the whole show just got boring yeah. and i stopped watching it at like episode six or something yeah so we just got <clears throat> too predictable whereas mm-hmm. this show like it's re- reusing elements but it's not exactly using the same thing over mm-hmm. and over like the plot over. is getting kind of annoying but it is that's okay but i feel like they're doing it on purpose yeah because like you can you can kind of feel like they're doing this on purpose to like bring you somewhere yeah. whereas like Renai Bokun was just reusing it's just like beating a a dead horse you know like yeah. they're just like hey remember this chick likes to stab people well she's stabbing <laughs> people again as usual it's like all right well that's oh she put a <laughs> knife in someone's again. head again <laughs> oh what do you know but um I mean other than that there's not really much to talk about other than you know I guess Chiaki is starting to realize her her fib about Nobe-san and mono yeah. is starting to uh you know fall apart at the seams and she's maybe starting to regret um <clears throat> you know bringing in her sister in as a kind of fake mono san nobe right cuz now she's going to have to explain I'm really it. glad that her <laughs> and he's going to be like why did you lie right. to me right like I, i'm really glad that her sister didn't start like developing feelings for amano cuz yeah. i don't know i felt like there was like sort of a tease for that yeah. and i was like oh god no. i'm sure not someone else like, i'm i'm sure god. i'm sure like that's what it probably was meant to be and i'm sure in the light novels like that's probably what it is but um Maybe. It's because like it's just a like a one core anime that it's they can't mm-hmm. do that. They don't have time. To they don't add have that time in. to add that. Yeah. So, With how many episodes left? Like two right. or something. Yeah. Or? There's yeah. definitely no two. time to. There's put not any development enough time. Like those because last they had the whole were... tease in the video game store. Yeah. Where she was like, "Oh, he likes the girl that right, isn't right, Karen right. or whatever." And then, uh, <clears throat> but I like the little the game sister that he character. picked out was a game that she wanted yeah, to play. Exactly, or the one that represented yeah, her. I, I think she's a good character. But yeah, she's funny. Right. So. You. You see how like there's that that happened with Konoha and and Amano. She's like she he recommends the game that she has a connection with, and then they're talking about Space Ocean, aka Star Ocean, and uh, he's talking about um, <laughs> 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 yeah. Space Ocean Two, and uh, Chiaki is like getting this like oh my gosh like it's like one of my favorite games like and getting all like sentimental it. Yeah. so it's kind of like a parallel she's between the bothered. sisters yeah she's like getting all <laughs> like oh my gosh space ocean too oh. uh, <laughs> well uh before we uh move on mark we have to ask you this karen or chiaki yeah yep karen, karen. why because she's blonde yeah Cause she's blo- no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said um, he's in for you're not gonna, I feel like, I feel like <laughs> you said you're replacing Drew. So come on, bro. <laughs> that's why I said. That's why I started to say it. Cause she's blonde at the end. <laughs> um, no, because because she knows what like her, she already is aware of her feelings, and she knows like that she re- is like beyond in love with Amano. 
Like, she doesn't know. She doesn't she know it. Can't even but function she, around she him. Is for sure, dude. Like Love she him. can't. She can't <laughs> function whenever like things are involved with him. Like it's really. It's, the, those are like the funny parts to me. That's like that's comedy. When she's acting and like I, a soldier, I, I thought it was funny. Like the whole. Yeah, yeah oh. I thought it was funny because like they don't. It's almost like Sir Zura children, like where they don't know how to act around each other because like They're awkward. He's kids, yeah. super awkward, and he's she, no longer replacing yeah, Drew. Like now. She's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm, I'm he's straying off. off. He's actually giving a reason besides char- uh, the character design. I actually I liked Karen um, more after the phone call. Because he like called her and was like, "How do I break up with someone?" And she said, "Figure it out yourself." Yeah. And then well, it's because like, she thought he was gonna break up with her. Yeah. yeah. She's like, "Figure it out yourself." And he's like, "Who else would I ask?" And he's like, or, or she's like, "I don't feel so good." He's like, "Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'll come." Why wouldn't a boyfriend be there for his beloved girlfriend? She's like, "What?" She's like, "Okay, I understand." Girlfriend. And then she goes like soldier mode. She's like, "I completely get it." I love you. Click. <laughs> just hangs up. And then he just yeah. yells, why is my girlfriend See, oh, so cute? Great. Uh, yeah. And he, he just, I like how he sits down <laughs> and he's like, it looks like he's about to like have a breakdown. <laughs> he sits down and he's like, why is my girlfriend so cute? <laughs> and then, and then you like got start fucking, hitting him. <laughs> fucking Konoha and Chiaki are like, fuck you. Yeah. They're like, bro, bro, please. <laughs> fuck you. You, you dick. <laughs> See, that's what I liked yeah. about. It. That's what I liked about Karen and their relationship. Her, she gets it, man. Yeah, Her I mean, I, I, I agree with you to an extent. Like, I think that's kind of like, you know, like a charm point for her, where like, yeah. she, she seems a bit cuter that way. But at the same time, she's still kind of flat and two dimensional in terms of a character. Um, I, I yeah. want them to, you know, make me like her character more and so that's what i hope happens like through this arc i know this is like a chiaki arc in salt in in all of it but yeah i want them to make a valid like argument for karen to be like the winner you know it would be nice because they're not doing much for that right now um not at all not at all and like there are those moments where i'm like yeah i could see like reasons why Karen could be best grill in the show, but like, then they just stop. They're like, neep, neep. Yeah, like, and then Chiaki just keeps getting development. So it's just like right after Karen's big development episode, it, like that was it, and yeah, then it was just was like it. nothing. So like, I feel like they need to really kind of work on that. Well, yeah, they just need another season. Yeah, fair enough. Easy, I agree. Easy. I mean. It would be great, but I don't season. think there's going to be another season. Maybe like an OVA, but I hope at least an OVA. I don't think it'll get like more seasons like Konosuba. No, for sure. I'd not. rather have another season of Konosuba than another season than Gamers, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's for sure. Konosuba is the best. Hopefully longer than 10 episodes. Yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe 30 <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Maybe. Just, just uh, a sitcom. It just keeps going. <laughs> 365 days <laughs> <laughs> all right well moving on so let's uh go ahead and move into our happy hour and so our first uh topic is going to be soccer request i know i said earlier that it's going to be part of the pairing but uh there's not too much to talk about soccer request so i kind of <laughs> changed my mind um so uh this the, the host's this, prerogative <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> Uh, This week, we kind of uh, get into the whole final preparations for the Mizuchi Festival festival, and um, kind of also the aftermath of the absorption of Manoyama into the... Fuck, I just can't remember the name of the fucking... The other place? It's like Tomiki or something like that. Um, Either way, nobody's really happy with it, and... uh, Tomikura. Tomikura, that's what it is. Um, and nobody wants it to happen, so everyone's kind of trying to think of a way to, like, I guess, bring Monoyama back in the spotlight. So, um, Mark, why don't we start with you? What did you think about this episode? What what, what caught your fancy? Um, I don't know. I mean, that whole surprise that uh, the the boss, I just forgot his name. Um, that he was a part of like the staff and that, that people are trying to make it go through is still happening. 
I guess that that's supposed to be like the main twist, but then it kind of got like, I guess swept under the rug with the whole planning for the Mizushi Fest still. Um, I mean, the, the, the biggest thing that was for me that, 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 uh, I took away was that Sandal son found his uh, grandparents. Well, he didn't find his grandparents. But <laughs> that was the best. He, he found them. He, well, he found his. He found he their names. names. They're hundred years he, old. He, he <laughs> found them. I found my grand grandpa. Oh my Papa. god! They were. They were. Grandpa. In- <laughs> grandpa. Grandma. <laughs> um, I'm a painter so and I'm a hobo. Names, and they ended up being. <laughs> Are you proud of being me? the ones who built Sakura Pond? You know what? <laughs> Go ahead. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. There, there, like you said, there wasn't much this episode. It's all the Mizuchi Festival that it's been leading up to. And uh, I guess they're trying to get some some big dude from another show to come through the city. I don't. I didn't really catch what that was no, about. They, no, they're trying to talk to the mayor. The mayor that guy's name was? Sandalson's uh, town. Yeah. To create a sister Oh, the mayor. City. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, I could use it as leverage for in the absorption or whatever. Yeah, to kind of be mm, like, right. hey, like we get to call shots. Like they probably don't want Monoyama to go down without a fight, you know? Mm-hmm. Because they were talking at least about like how, maybe keep the name or something. They were talking about how the names can change to something. Yeah, so he put so he put people's lives at risk as he was flying out of the festival. Oh out yeah, of the just town. zoom in in the car. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like that's so dangerous. Yeah, like right. He could have ran over pedestrians. <laughs> He's like, I don't care. They're all old, anyways. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. But, um, yeah, also, what else was there? Uh, Yoshino's oh, yeah. birthday. That was a I touching that was moment, touching. actually. That's where, like, that moment yeah. happened. I was just like, this episode was actually, like, pretty good because it's like, mm-hmm. there is, like, all this conflict and all the stuff that's happening. And then they brought in, they were able to, like, bring in a moment like that. And it felt, like it wasn't just shoehorned in, you know, it felt like it was the rush of things yeah. and she was surprised by it. And like, I was surprised by it. I was like, oh, like everyone took the time to like w- with all this shit going on to remember something <clears throat> so quote unquote small, but it's actually not something small because it's like it's her birthday and it was, you know, it was touching. So I agree. I, I wasn't expecting it either. When they put her in the cave, I was like, why are they putting I her in the I was like, I know here. they're going to lock her in there, but what's the fucking reason? <laughs> it just reminded like, me. This is messed up. <laughs> Mark, that reminded me of fucking PE freshman year. Remember? Um, oh, my God. Oh, when, when Nick got, <laughs> Nick locked, got locked, locked into a oh locker. God. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. I forgot about that. And then, you know, but that was, they like, they padlocked it yeah someone and put then it, didn't just know put the, the lock on yeah, the, I don't yeah know. No, and no one knew the code so they had to like, cut him out he was in there for like an hour oh that was great no it was maybe like it was 20 like 20 minutes, minutes. everyone was Tops. changing coach just comes running with bolt cutters <laughs> he was fucking pissed he's like, <laughs> like he was running in he fucking like, did this <laughs> No one Did said he just anything. Sprint in, he was just like pushing kids out of like get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Which was it? Was uh, so it was the Alcozer. Yeah, mm. I remember because Alcozer, yeah. I remember like someone someone said, "Hey Nick, you should see if like can you fit in this locker?" And I was like, "That's kind of a weird question." <laughs> and then like like thirty seconds later, he's like, "Hey, I can't get out." And he's like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> <laughs> He's like knocking on it. I was like, "What? Wait, what's that sound? Is he, he's still in there?" God, that's yeah, messed that up. That was pretty fucked yeah, up. That's really Luckily for up. Yoshino, there was a bit more space than a locker. <laughs> but yeah. unluckily for her, though, it's it's not as ventilated as oh, the locker yeah, it's was. Just <laughs> fucking dark. If they actually locked her in there. She would die. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh wow, it's pitch black in here. Yes. Cool. Uh, I can't Wait, get I can't out. Get out. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Although, if you think about it, isn't it like made of like paper mache? <laughs> like, couldn't she just? That's like, what I was thinking. Punch That's through. That's what I thought too. I was like, I was like, is this like, paper mache? <laughs> like, how is she not able to just push the door? Like, I know. Boop? Like, was someone leaning on it? <laughs> yeah, like, it was just a uh, freaking uh, the grandma. The grandma or the yeah. French chef guy? <laughs> oh yeah, it was the French chef guy. Yeah, it was the French chef. Yeah, the French chef guy on. and um, uh, Jory's. Uh, uh, sister was just bang- they were just banging right in front of it so <laughs> just on the door it. just yeah, like on the door yeah on the paper mache rock that was nut- yeah. out in the yeah. open 
That's that's good times in the middle of a small town. And then and then out comes a cake and people celebrating. They're like, oh, oh sorry. Uh, Wait, we'll do this elsewhere on. when you guys are finished. <laughs> and then they open the rock and Yoshino's dead. And they're like, oh, fuck. Like, she, uh, she, happy she, birthday. She suffocated on her birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> She's like passed out on the ground. <laughs> Resuscitate her. She's dead. Oh, God. She's dead. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Quick, Bear, put the body in the lake. We won't find it for 50 years. <laughs> <laughs> Last episode is just a funeral. Oh, okay. and that's it. <laughs> okay. That would take a huge turn. Well then. Well. Wow, Mark. Way to take it too far. <laughs> anyways. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but it I mean, all right. Well, anyways, it is it is good. It is coming down to the last episode. Yeah. So I mean that's that's where I was going with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Of course. Cool. Of course. Yeah. yeah. You get you get me. You, get, you got you. All right. Well uh <laughs> Yeah. Let's uh, move on to Classroom of the Elite. Um, I see Alec and I have refilled our beers. Mark oh, has not. No, Because he's being like Drew, being a baby. Um, okay, I see him. <laughs> At least he's drinking. He's, he, just, he finished like a third of the beer in one gulp. All right. He's not a baby. At least he's partaking mm-hmm. in, the, in the drinking <laughs> part of this podcast. Yeah, he's not like, oh, I got it. I, I'm going to be on a cruise for a week. <laughs> I can't drink for the next yeah, what, two what's weeks with that? because I'm a baby. Gotta get that cruise bod, dude. Cruise bod. Yeah, he wants to look like the dude from Classroom of the Elite. Yeah, the Just, monkey man. He, he <laughs> wants to have the he full upper body, but no legs. And he just wants to be be dripping with manliness. (laughs) (laughs) Well, anyways, Classroom of the Elite. Yeah, I was pretty surprised uh, by that. Since we're moving on to that. Uh, Um, This week, we got some Pansu allegations. So, um, Oh, there's a Pansu Pansu thief. Um, But anyways, like the main point that happened was Class C, they find out. The way they do things is they spent all their points and then decided to pretend like they were sick and go back on the boat. So they did they did something that I probably would have been okay with. <laughs> like, I would have totally honestly, been down for that. Like no, I would have been like totally I fine with that. I was sitting there like listening, they were like, Oh, that's not against the rules. Hell yeah, yeah I'm up I, for this. Totally Let's just have a big okay party for that. two days with all our points and then go back to the boat and party on and the boat keep for four boat. more days. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. They had fucking jet skis. Like. <laughs> they had everything. They were so set. They were like throwing people in the water. They had like yeah. barbecues going with kebabs of like beef. The guy had his Perrier. Air quotes, yeah. his barrier. His barrier. And uh, dude, I was like, dude, I'm I'm totally down for this this method of making it through the test. Let's oh, just yeah. find a be. After that, though, I don't know how much of a lie it would be saying they're sick. They just binge eat, eat it or binge ate. Goddamn, eat it. Binge, binge ate like eat a whole it. bunch. Of <laughs> they been they were binge eating. Damn it! You fucking and then they were just like they were sleeping eating. on the beach probably till the afternoon, getting sunburned. They probably did go back to the boat like. A, a little sick after two days of that so yeah but i'd be down but That'd they cool. there there was that and then we find out like class a is kind of just ready for war they look like they're about to like uh go all actual battle royale slash um hunger games on the, oh, I know. All the classes they walk up with their sticks <laughs> <laughs> it's just like if you don't get out of here we're gonna beat you up it's like <laughs> jesus whereas like the class yeah, c was guy like, was like <laughs> Hey Susan, I got a tent pitched for you. Um, yeah, I'll have a special tent made for so, us. <laughs> like, hey, come back like, here. Goes, come if you want to experience heaven. And he's like gripping a pomegranate. I'll treat you right. Yeah. And he's like, like groping the pomegranate, and then she's just got this most disgusted face. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, ugh. Yeah, she was just so grossed out. That guy then, is so fucking rapey. It's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> total rape. And rape then he he, he, guy, he yeah. admits to punching blue haired bitch, whatever her name Ibuki is, Ibuki or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, the one for, who ditched, who was Mio? like found in the forest, Ibuki, all yeah. swollen and shit. Yeah, so he's just a fucking typical abuser. He just like yeah. sexually and physically abuses women, apparently. 
Um, Everyone. But let's talk about the main crux of this episode, oh. which was really the Pantu allegations. So, um, oh, and Sakura is happy to be there. Don't oh yeah, that. because that's important. She's happy to be there with her big. She wants his D. With her big aspirations, um, uh, <laughs> but let's remember that Karu Izara's pantsu got stolen, <clears throat> and if you don't remember, she's the girlfriend of Hirata, the the guy that's kind of like the leader of the class. Quote unquote. He's like the class. Well, he's not class rep, is he? No, but he's no. like the guy that's kind of like. like Acting the, leader. The acting leader. Even He's though, like the cohesion leader. Yeah, even though Susan A is the technical leader for yeah. the for the test. Um, and she's the class rep, isn't right, she? Right, right. Yeah, I think... Sn- no, I think... I thought Kushida was oh, maybe, the... Uh, Kikyo was maybe she class is. rep. Is she? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Because I thought she was because um, Susan A went to the hearing. Um, no, she just said, class, like, oh, she's class rep. She was rep the class rep for the hearing. Oh, all right. Um, for sure. Yeah. For sure. But uh, so Karuzawa's pantsu gets stolen. And mm. it's weird because when we see <laughs> like the whole scene that happens at night, it looks like something gets stolen from Ibuki's um, bag. So like, I don't know if there was just like a weird misunderstanding or if it's probably, I mean, it's not probably, but it's definitely plotted by probably someone maybe class A. Or class B, you guys are making faces and like making it look like you're having all nipple gasms or something. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that's what I thought. I all right. So originally, when when they picked up uh, Ibuki, I thought that that was like a whole like ploy for class C to send somebody there, like to make it look like an accident yeah. or something, or like that's make what it I look thought. like they they wanted to feel bad for her. And I kind of still feel that way. Like maybe she's like the real culprit behind the whole pantsu incident but i mean i don't i don't know like there's there's no definite evidence that she did it but she's kind of a bitch but i mean well i mean clearly ek is the i guess is the culprit culprit because he just like found it in his bag and he's like oh oh." i just i find it too easy for her to be the perfect kid like the person who did it I feel like if they do that i'll be like okay show i like you but that was too like too much of a cop out on that one, it's like, hey, let's make her the the person. I mean, I could see it where she's like always saying you guys are too trusting. And then maybe she like steals the pantsu so that so that like they're they're not as trusting. She's like, I told you, you can't be trusting. And it's like, all you did was steal pantsu. It's not like you really did anything all that crazy. It's not like you went over and like stabbed somebody and then made them go back to the boat. But um, <laughs> <laughs> like um, so she just shank somebody. And, like, <laughs> go back to the back. boat, bitch. Um. <laughs> but no, I don't think I don't think it w- it's gonna be blue haired bitch. Um, and I, did you guys know what was in the bag that they were like? So that was her bag, right? That they were sh- yeah. They were searching. It looked through. like that was her bag that they were searching through. But did you know what was in it? There was just it looked like there was like a a wrist strap. Or I thought something. it was like a device or something. Yeah, it looked like something. I don't know. I was like, is it supposed to be the key card or something? Maybe she's the leader. Oh. <clears throat> and that's why she's on the island and they found out so they're going to get extra points or that's, something. That's or? actually a thing because it's like, what if they made her the leader? And, and then so beat her up and made yeah. her stay. And so she has to stay on the island, right? And find out who everyone else the leader is or some shit. So like maybe, yeah, that's that's a good point. Uh, that's like what I was Could thinking. Be. But yeah, because that was... I was wondering about that too, because the, there was a, there's got to be a reason why they showed that, like you know, in the middle kind of like um, segment where they show the rules again for the classrooms mm-hmm, yeah. and they show the rule for the leaders and getting the points. <clears throat> they kind of always do that for a reason for like each episode I've noticed. Yeah. So this one, I, I figured like there's got to be a reason why they showed like the whole leader thing yeah, to, and that somebody's figuring out like who's the leader for the it's other like, classes. It's a, a Chekhov's gun situation. Like they don't, you're not supposed to put something in a, yeah. in a story if it doesn't have a purpose. Otherwise, it's just mm-hmm. bad. Like, exactly. Bad it's just bad storytelling. Right. Um, <laughs> so, I think it's Iona Koji. He looked through her bag. Right, right. now though, he knows like, who. <sighs> <sighs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> um, I found these in my, found found these in my, in my, pan, pocket. my pocket. I don't know where they came from, but he knows who. They're still right. So he knows who the, or they think they know who the class A leader is. They think it's that guy. No, um, it is him because 
the big, big buff bald yeah. dude? No, the other guy. The guy who was next to him at the uh, last episode. Remember, the different guy had the key card. And he's like, I didn't make you leader, so you could get found out or something like that. The bald guy's not the oh, leader right, with right. the card. It was that other guy, right? They they know Remember? who the leader is. Yeah, they're like using like a scapegoat. Yeah, but they, he could have been faking it. You know, he could have been just saying that. <clears throat> They didn't know they were there, though. You don't know that, dude. He could be <laughs> crazy, man. Like, he could be like, I'm just going to walk outside of our cave and say this in case somebody's there for the next two days straight. For the next hour on the hour, I'm going to walk out and go, I didn't give you that card to give it away so quickly. They go back and he's all right, give me that card back. In case, <laughs> in case Koenji's hiding in the trees. That's what still. I would do, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, dripping fucking with Tarzan. manliness. Just dripping with manliness. All right. God. <laughs> well, uh, there's not much to talk about with that episode, and um, a lot of Pantsu. Um, Pantsu. Too bad Drew uh, couldn't be here for it. You know, he would have been all about that. All um, about Pantsu. All about Pantsu. Dude, this was like a Drew episode. It was a Drew episode. You know, there was there sexual were abuse. Bikini-clad women. Bikini-clad women. Yep. And Pantsu. And Pantsu. Yep. Um. Anyways. Yep. Um, he's going to be mad about that. He's going to be mad about the sexual abuse, but. (laughs) (laughs) Um, well, well, like, where do you think it's going to go from here? Like, let's just, let's finish it. Where do you think it's going to go from here? Like, do you think that they're going to find out who the leader is for the other classes? I'm pretty sure Ayano Koji already knows. I don't think he knows, but but he's going to, he's going to do something. So like it, they've been gearing up for him to do something and the culmination Especially with that flashback of it. Yeah, it's going to he's going to act and do something. And then people are going to realize like in his class, probably at least they're going to realize like, wait. Are you really the one that's been behind, behind everything? everything that's been going on? Because like here, like, like clearly knows that he he's hiding more than that. Yeah, like it like yeah. he I don't think he. I don't think here to buys that Susan is the one that <laughs> has been doing everything. He's the leader, yeah. right? Yeah, I yeah. Agree with that. yeah. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, I think that's why he guy. asked him, like, "Hey, find out who is who actually took the pansu. Like, you need to find it out." And I was like, when he said that, I was like, "Oh, he has to have an idea that he's like more. He's more than meets the eye, dude. Yeah, <clears throat> he's a fucking transformer." <laughs> It's like a Megatron. He is fucking <laughs> Megatron, dude. <laughs> Here, I t- Or no, it's fucking Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji Kun. Ayano Koji. More than meets the eye. More than meets the eye. Ayano Koji. Ayano Koji. <laughs> Genius in, in disguise. disguise. <laughs> he is like a robot, is, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's so emotionless. <laughs> well, mo- moving on. Uh, Why don't we uh, talk about some of our news? So uh, we've got some new games announced recently on uh, the Nintendo Direct that happened just the other day. Um, we got a lot more information on Super Mario Odyssey, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Um, uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah. Snipper clips, clips, the new Dude, expansion, clips. and then um, Octopath Traveler. It's great. The new Pokemon games coming out. So uh, I don't know. What did you guys think about this this Nintendo Direct? The apparently there's a MOBA game coming out, Arena of Valor. That's gonna be interesting. Isn't that just a phone game though? Um, I thought it was. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that's no, a, I thought it was I'm, a full. I'm pretty sure uh, that's a game that's been on be. been on like mobile devices. Of course, you'd be excited for a mobile. See, game. I think so because um, the the company that's bringing it out is Tencent, <clears throat> and they're the company from China that owns Riot. So uh, that's why yeah, I think like right, I'm actually. pretty sure that's yeah. why they're allowed to use a lot of stuff that looks like League of Legends. <laughs> without getting any copyright mm-hmm. issues because they own Riot Games. They own. <laughs> Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I really didn't look too much into it. I just kind of looked at the names of some of the um, some of the things coming out besides like Super Mario Odyssey, which looks really cool. 
I like you. I know you've been excited for Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, think? I'm really excited. I that game. I saw the trailer on E3, and then I saw a couple other things after, and I've just been really excited for it. I think it's been really cool. It's gonna be. It looks different than like other um, of the like, uh, you know, Super Mario 64 type Mario games that have been out. I don't know what to call those. Um, <clears throat> and it just looks like it'll be different, and that's cool, and I like it. Um, also, on you this, you know what's uh, different about it? What nipples? <laughs> yeah thanks yeah you get to see mario's nipples. yeah you can see mario's that nipples. is different yeah. hopefully welcome. hopefully they'll give him a hairy chest instead because that'll be you know authentic that'll make sense make him look that'll like an authentic, authentic Ita- italian right italian uh, uh snipper clips i'm super excited for the expansion because i don't know what it is about that game but of the games that i got when i got my switch or that i had when i got my switch that was the my favorite one like that shit is so dope it's a good game it's like it's, it's a like really a really good, game. good it's the laughs yeah. that make it it's so fun the sound effects i i like how the first time we played it, it was uh, we were at Rolando's and me and Mark were playing, and I just, just like <laughs> Mark's Murdering just standing Mark. there, and I'd zoom by him and go him. snip, 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 and just kill him. <laughs> just, I, I just trying, kept killing I was you over to learn the controls first. Yeah, <laughs> like what's the hell am I doing? You. That was the best. That was the best. But um, I'm actually kind of excited for the Pokemon games coming out. I don't normally play them. I actually haven't played a Pokemon game in forever, and I know that even if I were to get one now, I probably wouldn't finish it. I'd probably play, like, <laughs> a couple hours and be like, wow, this is fun, and then just not play it anymore after that and be like, why did I spend $40 on this or $60, or why did I waste my money on this game that I'm not going to finish? But I, it looks pretty cool. Wait, so this... I'm a bit tepid on it. This link that you sent, what? it says Ultra Soon in Moon? Yeah, <laughs> it- Ultra. Is that right? Is, or is it supposed to say supposed sun to say and moon? Sun. No, it's ultra soon. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Pokemon I think, ultra I think, soon. I think it's a pun <laughs> maybe plus moon. because it is ultra soon. <laughs> like a year later, they're, they've got these new games <clears throat> that are basically just enhanced versions of sun and moon. Soon and moon. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Soon. Ultra soon <laughs> and moon. Ultra soon and moon. It's just it's weird. I I don't know. I'm I'm a little tepid on it just because um everyone knows there's the po- Pokemon company is making a game for the Switch. So whether it's like yeah. a port of this game, I don't think it is. It's probably going to be a completely different game. And it's like I honestly am not really I I wasn't sold on Sun and Moon when it first came out. Like I didn't play it, but like I just don't feel like it's the type of game that I want to play like I played X or no I, I played Y I didn't play X and I enjoyed it they're the same but for me it just felt like it was just gonna be you know another Pokemon game and I didn't really want to play another Pokemon game on the 3DS honestly <laughs> Yeah, well, I think I think having a, like a new Pokemon game for the Switch would be a good idea. I mean, it's their their newest console. I think if they have a new game that will release with it, it would be the best idea. I think that for them, for Nintendo to make an, a brand new Pokemon game um, to be released before Sun and Moon, I think that would make more sense. But I yeah. mean, having like a new and improved Sun and Moon, I guess, is cool. <clears throat> My brother played Sun and Moon and said it was all right, like. He wasn't too impressed with it, but he's a really big Pokemon fan, so he he liked it anyways. But I don't know. Yeah, I think just kind of rehashing previous versions of the games is I don't know. I feel like it's I, getting old. It's I, like a black and white and black and white two situation with this is what I. I feel never like. played Sun and Moon. Yeah, exactly. And I had did I have X or Y? I don't know. I had one of them, but you I didn't finish it. So the reason I'm excited is because I haven't finished a Pokemon game in a really long time. And so every time a new Pokemon game comes out, I'm like, yeah, but then I just have to remind myself that I never actually finished them. Yeah. You never finished just- you never finished <laughs> X or Y, whichever one you had. I didn't finish X or Y. I also haven't finished Fire Emblem, even though I really want to, but I know I won't oh, for yeah. a while. I'm at, I'm at the end of Echoes. I need to finish. I, Echoes was really fun. It is it's, really fun. It's a really good. I just. It's really good. It. Um, <laughs> compared to time. Fates, for mm-hmm. sure. Awakening was good, but um, 
fates took the fucking waifu simulator to an extreme and it's just like oh yeah <laughs> fates was where you just like you could have a bajillion different kids right with depending on the choices you make or whatever is that fates it's the same as fire emblem awakening but there's too oh, much emphasis there's too much emphasis on it i played the story also just but wasn't good at all um the new one's fun though but. echoes is great um it's a remake of uh, Fire Emblem Gaiden. It's better than Heroes. The second sure. Fire Emblem game for NES. Um, that was kind of like the the black sheep of the of the series. I think it's good. Um, Alec is jerking himself off. Um, it, I don't know if that's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> jerking I don't himself think off that's what's his, going on with here. Silas. Um, Doing sexually motivated. He's being lewd. Moves. Sexually it's motivated nice. moves. Um, <laughs> he's being lewd. <laughs> moving on. Um, the last thing I wanted he's to talk about right with now. this Nintendo Direct was um, they showed a very extensive amount of Xenoblade Chronicles Two, which I honestly thought was going to get delayed because it's a JRPG. I thought so too. And. Um, you know, it's like supposed to be a release year title and it will make it beginning of December. Although, Mark, did you watch late December the direct? I did not. No, I, I saw clips of it. Did like, you see clips? Brief clips for of it. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yeah. Yeah. What, I was what, kind of like, what did you think about that voice acting? That was like, no. Nah. Yeah. That. <laughs> It was just like, it just seems like another like Japanese, like forced English, forced into English type of they, um, I don't, voice acting. I don't know it's what Nintendo, like, like whenever they're localizing stuff in English, I guess it's cheaper to do it in Britain or something. But like they're, they're yeah, always then, doing then, like British, um, like the British Isles as like their theme so it's like they've got all these like different like english accents going on and I'm just like yeah why is it doing this it's, it's just, just so, so over, over the, the top, top and just yeah weird and so like it doesn't match yeah. some of the characters sometimes like i was watching like the trailer and just like <laughs> why the fuck does it sound like it's just like it just sounds like very overacted and weird and it's like why don't you just yeah get normal voice actors and just have them do it like <laughs> i was just i don't know i was disappointed um i hope that i yeah. hope it's a situation where you can use japanese voices although you'll probably have to set your system language to japanese to, <clears throat> to have that and not see be able to see any of the writing because you yeah. can't read japanese because you can't read it unless you can then you know power to you i guess yeah. <laughs> anyway well then maybe we should be yeah, <laughs> let's just all learn to read Japanese. More in Japanese, then. Exactly. exactly. Or just listen. I think that'd be easier. <laughs> um, moving on from that Nintendo Direct, um, Destiny Two. We talked about that last week. It uh, released and has some issues on PlayStation Four. Um, I don't know about Xbox, but we do have the release of Destiny Two on PC coming out October twenty fourth. So um, I know Can't wait. Um, we are excited for that. Um, so Mark, excited. have you been um, like <clears throat> looking into playing Destiny 2 at all? I don't know, man. I mean, the Destiny, we played don't be an the idiot. trial of Destiny and uh, I really liked it. I thought it was cool. And then it got really boring <laughs> and then I never wanted to play it again. But I've heard really good things about Destiny 2. And it's supposed to be different. I've seen some pretty cool gameplay. I really enjoyed Destiny. So maybe 1. I might be interested in. I don't know what you're talking about. It was it apparently was cool, Destiny One it, was it really was, bad in the beginning. So like when we played it, it yeah. was in the beginning, and like honestly, they probably shouldn't have released it that early. Um, maybe yeah, maybe that was it. Maybe they shouldn't have done that. Maybe they shouldn't have let people play so long for for the beginning. But because like it was a rehash <laughs> of the beta, honestly, that's what it felt like. Exactly. But um, there's also just yeah, no content like for a while. You have to do everything again. Yeah. Um, and it was also. I wish we also had play. more people to play with. It was impossible to play with just me and Alec. 
Yeah, um, it was really hard. Like, it was either too easy or too hard. It was yeah. like, well, this is boring. <laughs> but <clears throat> moving on from that, like, apparently what I've heard was that it got way better once the expansion started coming out. And uh, my sister's yeah. been mm-hmm. playing Destiny 2 on PS4, and it, she's been enjoying it. So... Yeah, I have I have two friends who said they've been playing it like mm-hmm. super late into the night just because it's it's really it's really fun and they enjoy it. So I thought about it, but maybe once it comes out on PC, yeah. maybe I'll pick it up and then um maybe I have it. a couple friends who play it on more. uh Xbox One and they were saying they play uh they're like, Yeah, I play every night, but all it's it's like it's fun to play, but all it's doing for me is making me want to play it on PC more and more. <laughs> And they're like, the the more, yeah, they're like, the more I play it on Xbox, the more I'm like, God, can this just come out already? Seriously? I know. End of October? Could it really? Like three months after? Like, this is ridiculous. Well, you have to think about it, though, because like they're releasing it on Battle.net. Like, Mm -hmm. Bungie has to meet Activision Blizzard standards. So, yeah. um, Yeah. Blizzard for sure does not fuck with uh, the shit that goes on Battle.net. Except Um, for, you know, Hot, well, but hot garbage. It's a hot pile of shit. I was like, "What is a hot pile of shit?" Hey, they have a really good gamer community. <laughs> no, they okay? don't. They're more toxic than League, <laughs> dude. Because it's all the people who <laughs> used to play to, League but couldn't hack it. They had to so turn off over there. <laughs> the, it's like fucking World of Tanks. They had to turn off fucking <clears throat> like cross. Cross t- uh, yeah. team chat on that game. Yeah, all chat. They don't have all chat because <laughs> it's so toxic. Um, Dude, World of Tanks is so fun. Yeah. Uh, De- Destiny Destiny 2 <laughs> looks like it's going to be good on PC. That's probably going to be like the the chosen platform for most people. Um, it, even though Sony has the exclusivity rights for like a bunch of stuff. Like they'll have exclusive weapons, some exclusive maps and stuff, which is annoying. But whatever, yeah. uh, it is what it is. So, uh, God of War four on PS four. Mark, you want to talk about this? I know you're excited. Yeah, man, I'm. I'm pretty excited. I think this new game is gonna be really cool. I uh, I have been waiting for years for like something God of War to be released on like an actual PlayStation console and not on a PSP or PSP Vita. Because I mean, fuck that shit. <laughs> I haven't touched my PSP in like maybe well maybe like a year after I bought my mine and when it first was was released. So I was really waiting for something to come out on console. This looks really good from the trailers that they've been releasing. The trailers look so um, sick. They showed a little bit of like a yeah they showed um, some extended like gameplay of the first like fifteen minutes or something. I watched maybe five minutes. I didn't want to get spoiled, but it, it looks awesome. I think the the gameplay is gonna be really cool. Like the fighting really very reminiscent of the original games like the first three hack and um, slash and the storyline seems cool like it's yeah i mean it's attack and slash but like they have like they have some new elements to it like new weapons and stuff of course but i think the story is going to be pretty cool so I'm, I'm excited for like a story driven hack and slash which i guess is what it is so nice it, it does cool. look cool i saw the uh, looking forward to it e3 kind of trailer and uh that was sick. Yeah, I dude, was like, holy was, shit, hype, this man. is so cool. Like with that sea dragon or whatever, I was like, what the fuck is going on? It was sick, dude. It was sick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I'm I'm interested in knowing, like, what's up with the kid? Like, it's got to be his kid. Who did he have the kid with? Is the kid no, going to have some, some kind of something to do kid. with the story? Some and random killed orphan kid that he just took the in. Father. And now he's the father because he felt bad. The, you know, actually, the kid spawned out of his spawn <laughs> in his head, and then just fucking broke out of his skull. See, he was the god of war, <laughs> and now he he's the father of war, and that child is war, and he is just an old man. Okay. Yep. Um. <laughs> disapproving head shakes. <laughs> disapproving. You know what? You know what? Fuck you both. <laughs> Go die in a ditch. <laughs> Uh, Go find a ditch, crawl in it, and move, expire. Move, moving on. Uh, so <laughs> you're stupid. I'm right. You're wrong. <laughs> Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. It's gonna be coming out. It's gonna soon. be garbage. Um, I don't know if Capcom can mm. save anything mm. from this game by releasing it any earlier. Yeah. But I know 
you know, Street Fighter Five, you know, being released early really helped it out, right? Oh wait, yeah, no, it didn't help it out at all. Oh, oh yeah. Um, uh, no, oh, I heard it was, I heard it was, uh, yeah, not good. Um, Capcom <laughs> has really been burning bridges with the fighting game community, and Why? um, yeah, what are they doing? I mean, Street. I Fighter actually 5. don't know. <laughs> Street Fighter Five was a, is a hot mess. Not oh, was, but is a hot mess. Uh, um, and then Marvel vs. Conf- uh, Capcom yeah. Infinite is just a whole nother story. Pissing off all of the Marvel players. Um, Not to mention yeah, Marvel yeah. fans, mm-hmm. anybody who... It just doesn't look like it has solid like gameplay mechanics to mm-hmm. it. Uh, some of the character, some of the characters they, don't seem like they've been like finalized. They, yeah, I like guess. fucking Chun Li. Don't it seem looks like, like she was fucking drawn by a twelve-year-old or something. Like <laughs> it's just <laughs> Captain America has like a tiny head, but like a ginormous yeah. body. He has bigger <laughs> boobs than Chun Li does. It's, it's, it's fucked up. It's ridiculous. But the fucking yeah. poster child now of the fighting game community is Dragon Ball Fighter Z. And that's essentially yeah. Marvel, like a Marvel fighting game done by Arc System Works. And it's, it just looks way better. It looks like you're playing like an actual episode of Dragon Ball Z. It looks yeah. awesome. We saw some of, some of it at what? Yeah. Anime Expo? Is that where we saw it? It looks awesome. I think it's going to be fun. I'm, I'm going to yeah. get it definitely. Um, I don't know. Do you know when it's going to be released? February. I didn't find it on here. Yeah. February? Oh, wait. Oh wait, it's gonna be <laughs> online play. Uh, yeah, there will be online play for sure. Nice. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna get it probably. Yeah, you don't, <laughs> you don't play fighting games. I don't play fighting games. <laughs> um, although but, I did own the Dragon Ball Z on PS2 games, those were pretty fun. The fighting ones or the Dragon Ball Z, whatever. I don't know. The ones that Bidwell Let's, played. Yeah. Budokai. Budokai. Yeah. The one where Budi-kai. he said that, that you just go like. <laughs> to uh, with the Wiimote to to do a Hadouken, right? Yeah, that, that one. one. <laughs> yeah, that one. I just throw the Wiimote. He's like, yeah, just throw it. Like that. Um, sorry, Nick. But Come uh, on, guys, give him some credit. <laughs> give him, give some, him credit. some credit. <laughs> I I still whooped his ass. Um. All right. Well, uh, moving on. Let's briefly touch on some of the fall anime that's coming out. So. uh Mark, I know you've been looking into this, so you want to lead this conversation? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, there, there's there's some pretty big name anime that are coming out next season. Uh, Shokugeki no Soma is coming out with its third season, <clears throat> San no Sara. I, I don't know what that means, but I mean, I, I'm assuming it's third something. Um that's going to be good. Uh, I've read the manga, so I've read ahead, and I, I kind of know where it's going to be going. I, th- I think that people are going to really enjoy this next season. Um, and then there's another one that is... I'm kind of surprised that it's coming back with a second season, but I'm glad is uh, Kekai Sensen and beyond. Uh, Kekai Sensen was this, like... What was it called? Blood Blockade or something... I had no idea what was going on in the whole anime for the whole series. I watched all twelve episodes, but it was good. It was it kept me it kept me hooked. Uh, it's about like I guess this guy who can kind of like um, just slow down time and he controls time with like his eyes or something. And these this group of people are trying to take his eyes and use it to basically bring the devil or something. I don't know. I don't even know what happened in the series, but it was good. I liked it. Um, there's a few other ones. I mean, the Mahotsukai no Yome or Ancient Megas's Bride is having a, a series that's going to be I'm excited in the for fall. that one. Uh, did you watch the three episodes? Yeah, did you watch yeah. the three episodes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Oh, I got you. Oh, yeah. I see you. I see you. What do you think of them? Did you like them? I like it, dude. I, I, I read the manga and I, I mean, I didn't get super, like really mm-hmm. far into it, but... I, I really like the series. I think it's really cool. It's interesting. I, I it's got really, really enjoyed it. The art style is something I really like. I wanted to read the manga, but I was like, oh, if there's a show coming out, I'll just wait. I'll watch it and then I'll watch them. I'll read the manga later. I don't want to spoil it, you know? Um, yeah. It, the way I like to like think about it is it, it reminds me of like of of a uh, Studio Ghibli 
of like a Miyazaki movie because a lot is said yeah. like in yeah. the story without words. It's like in the in the actions of the different characters and just like and then there's like a lot within what they actually say. So it's I, I really like the story. It's really cool. Um, it's probably of the like that those three episodes of like the things I've watched recently. It's definitely like one of my favorites. Super yeah, cool. I agree. I I really like everything that they show like on screen, and it, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's actually like a really beautiful anime. Mm -hmm. It's it's really well done. Um, so I'm excited for like a full series of it. I think it's kind of uh, it's well deserved of an entire. I think it would be worth like a 24. I think there's a series, movie too. We'll see, like or a short movie that's coming out or right. something. I don't know. Something. Right. I there is. I am looking through this um, list right now, and there's some anime where I'm like, is this really getting another? Like a continuation, like what? Okay, so there's Wake a, Up Girls. There's one that looks like Power Wake Rangers. Up Girls is getting something else. Um, looks like there's gonna be a new Idol Master, but it's side M, so it looks like male yeah. idols. Um, interesting. I guess they're all trying to compete <clears throat> with the uh, Love Live Sunshine season two. I was about to say, isn't Love Live coming out? This yeah. Um. What else is there that I looked at? Oh, Yuki Yuna is getting another season, which is, I guess, like, it seemed like there was going to be another season after the first season aired, but it's been a while. I feel I feel like all the hype for it, like, had dro dropped off. I don't know. It's kind of a multimedia um, IP, so maybe it has a following in Japan. I don't know. Just, I'm looking at this list, and... There's not too much that's interesting me. Glamorous heroes, dude. There's boobs. There's a uh, Dia Horizon is supposedly from it's uh, from Square Enix. So I don't know. That might be interesting. The art style oh, wait. at least would be They're good. They're getting uh, another but, Himoto Umaru-chan. Is a uh... yeah. Really I didn't see that. Well, that's that was a oh. funny uh, slice of life from a few seasons ago, but. It's interesting to see that it's getting another one. Um, I think, I think people might like Black Clover. There, that was uh, adapted from a uh, manga as well. I started reading it, but I I didn't get really too into it. I kind of, I just didn't really catch my attention that that well. But I've heard it's a good series. The ballroom so. show is getting I mean, a second must be season. Why it's getting adapted as an anime. Ballroom show. Ballroom, eh, Yokoso. I'm interested in seeing. Oh, you're into ballroom. I started this, watching uh, it. It was pretty good. In seeing this DS Ire <laughs> because uh, that's like a like a Latin uh, song or like hymn or whatever, and uh, it's supposed to be like an alternate telling of World War II. There's like hmm. Nazis. Oh, uh, that Soviets. does sound like something you would you would like. Yeah. But you are a big fan of the um, like alternate history, alternate also history. like just like in terms like period piece type stuff. Yeah, I like history. Sort of. Um, you do you, bro. I, yeah. Classic <laughs> Lloyd is getting a second season as well. Classic what? Classic Lloyd. I don't know what that is. I think that's airing. I don't know if it aired this season or the, the previous season in spring. I think think it might have been spring where they had the first season i never saw anything about it but there's a show about a teacher engaged uh, to her student which one which one is that one <laughs> oh. and then even though she, it's an arranged marriage even that. though she rejects the arranged marriage the student still comes to pursue her to pursuit her to pursue P -U -R -S -U -I -T. Oh. he still comes <laughs> to pursuit her will she nice be able to reject his love interesting interesting student teacher relationships dude etchy <laughs> etchy there's a fate apocrypha is it a that's currently one? airing so it's oh, probably it the just same a, one? It's, a continuation. it's a continuation oh okay. yeah <clears throat> i haven't i'm not caught up on that oh, or San, ballroom san gatsuna lion is getting a second season i still have to finish the last few episodes of that first season um what else i think i've Finish that one actually. So maybe I'll maybe I'll continue with that. Yeah, that was a good series. It's interest. It's an interesting slice of life, um, especially mm -hmm. also being a Shaft anime. So um, it's definitely right. got a certain style to it. That's for sure. 
Well, looking through this list, fall looks like it's going to be a fairly weak season, but I would love to be proved wrong. Um, yeah. For sure. <laughs> like the, we'll probably be covering Shokugeki no Soma. Um, I hope we can cover Mahotsukai no Yomo, Yome, the, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, his bride. I, th- I think, I think we'll cover that. Like, that's a cool one. The only person that I would think mm-hmm. that would not watch it is Drew because it's a fantasy. Oh and yeah, he's he over, like he's, he's over that stuff. Remember, over fantasy. Um, There's another one I think was adapted from a manga, Inu Inu Yashiki. I think that one's kind of interesting. That looks like um, a dude I, grabbing another dude's crotch. I have it on like my, my read list. The picture. Yeah, um, is, he's doing a reverse it, it leg sweep. Really weird. It is Studio Mappa though, so <laughs> I I will give it some credit. So uh, Studio yeah. Mappa is pretty good. Oh, that does sound interesting. Um, yeah, whatever. It still looks like a weak season in general, but I would love to be proven. Yeah, I agree. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. What, any? <laughs> do you guys have anything else to add before we end this episode? Um, nah. Mark. Um, Boku no Hero is uh, is really good. Uh, I'm still watching that one. Sure, as well as Princess Principle. There's only one episode left in that. I'm sure Kaku will be that glad that you guys you, should watch that you it. Mentioned uh, Boku no Hero Academia. Yeah, he loves Boku, no, Boku Hero. no Hero. Yeah, it's a good series, man. The manga is getting crazy. I think the I, I'm hoping the anime continues into to, to another season. It's it's a good series. Would it be the I think third it's gonna season? Be one of the best series. Yes, I think it's going to be like up there with like some of the some of the great series. That that's my like prediction Naruto. Right now. Yeah, like Naruto. Hopefully, it takes over Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I I think it's going to be a great series. Nice. So it's definitely nice. worth checking out if you haven't. I've seen been wanting it or to watch it. I just it. yeah. You should. I, I highly I have recommend it. It's a really good series. <laughs> All right. You well, have to shut the fuck up. <laughs> after, on that note, <laughs> um, so uh, if you guys would like to uh, follow us, we are on Twitter at Anime on, at, at, at anime on Draft. Um, we have an Instagram that hasn't been updated in a while. Um, official Anime on Draft. We've yeah, got... It's been a little while. Um, a Facebook page, Anime on Draft, that you could like, follow. We don't post anything there anymore. Um, the, the Twitter automatically posts there. If you go to the Facebook and then click the Twitter <laughs> section, it shows yeah, all of our shows Twitter all of our posts. tweets. Um, <laughs> I we, don't have time. I'm sorry. We've got um, uh, 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 WordPress. Um, yep. <laughs> um, that has anime links on to draft. all of the things that he's <laughs> struggling to talk about. Dot, dot WordPress dot com. <laughs> And then we've got our YouTube anime on draft, which, um, I mean, I would post the YouTube videos mm. immediately on the same day of the, uh, actual pa- podcast that goes on SoundCloud and iTunes, but, um, work. So, and also, uh, these other guys have work too. So like, we don't usually get some of the slides on time. So who knows? Maybe we'll we'll get it to uh to uh some sort of flowing system system at some and point. It'll just bam bam. Just we'll bam, figure bam. it out. We're we'll still new. Yeah. Twenty four episodes is still rather <laughs> new. <laughs> yeah. Barely a full season, right? Of yeah, like exactly. of, of like bleach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Why? It, there's a lot of filler. Why? There's, Why? A lot, there's a lot of filler. What? But uh, uh, anyways, <laughs> it was uh, fun having you on here, Mark, again. Thanks yeah, for jumping thanks for on having us me again. On again. I appreciate yeah, it. Thanks yeah, thanks for jumping on yeah, us I'll, again. I'll jump on you guys again next <laughs> yeah, time. Thanks yeah. for letting me be Drew yeah, for a day. You jump on us another <laughs> <been> time. <laughs> Super yeah. fun. Um, Drew will probably get a kick out of this episode because we've just been throwing shade at him this whole time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have fun on your cruise, Drew. <laughs> Well, I'm here drinking beer with these guys. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, yeah, yeah, thank you. It's, it's been fun. Maybe I'll, hopefully uh, I'll be able to yeah, come hopefully. back again. We'll see. Or maybe before we'll see. before we you know 
X you. So yeah, we'll um, see the reviews on this show and then we'll make a decision. Yeah. You know, Mark, if you're not, if you're not meeting the quota, <laughs> then we're going to have to let you go. Yeah. We're going to have to kick you. We're going to have to fire you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hate me. <laughs> Anyways, that's been episode 24 and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace out.